What is up YouTube, Metro here 2012. Today we're going to be doing a full fantasy draft in Madden 18, just so you guys can see how the fantasy draft process works. And then also we will be doing what I believe will be a relocation, um, so you guys can experience that as well, and maybe actually play a couple of these games just to see what the team is like. Um, totally up to you guys. Let me know if you enjoyed this video, if you wanna see more of this this team or if you want to see more fantasy drafts or whatever you guys want to see leave in the comments below we will set relocation settings to all users only go to eight minute quarters 25 second on the play clock and start we're just going to be shad Khan. i feel like if anybody relocates it's going to be the jags and likely to london because they've been playing there for a while and i think they've been testing that market especially with the jaguars and i think they'd be okay to move there because he's a businessman he wants to make money in London and make a ton of money, especially over Jacksonville. So, that would actually kind of kick them off too because they've, the Jags have kind of been stagnant since they even became a team. So let's go ahead and start our fantasy draft, see where we actually have a pick in the draft. Looks like number five overall. So, Andrew Luck, Russell Wilson, Derek Carr, Tom Brady all off the board, which means Aaron Rodgers is available. I like the sound of that, yes please. I know he's over 30, but geez. Tom Brady played till he's 40. Aaron Rodgers we're taking for sure because we're gonna have it we're gonna have seven good years of a good quarterback. So number one, Aaron Rodgers for sure. Alright, with the number two pick, normally I pick somebody up on defense, but there's nobody available really as you can see there. So we're gonna go with the wide receiver to help out Aaron Rodgers and take Des Bryant. Um, we're kind of going to be molding our draft. Oh wow, Jason Reck got taken already. We're considering him for the next pick. Um, but wow, okay. Could go Vic Beasley here. Go D tackle, but they'll likely some of them will likely stay. I really wanted to get um, Miles Garrett, but he got taken already. All the guys we wanted got taken. See if maybe we want another wide receiver. Could take like a Keenan Allen, Allen Robinson, Jordy Nelson, except he's a little older, 32. Let's see what happens if we take Keenan Allen load up for Aaron Rodgers. The next pick here we're going to want a defensive guy. Um, go for a young outside linebacker Anthony Barr. I think he'll actually play a lot better than he played last year coming up here. People are starting to take safeties which makes me worried that Jamal Adams will come off the board. I'm going to go ahead and take him before he's gone because he's already 82 overall at 22 years old and he's got superstar development so he's going to go pretty fast. Our next pick will be going defensive as well and we're taking Ryan Shazier to get a great middle linebacker. And then we'll also need to think about the secondary here. So we're going to go cornerback and a young guy that can grow. We're going to go Ronald Darby out of Florida State. The next corner we're going to take is Gary on Conley. He a lot of times gets taken off the board quick and we want these young guys who have good development traits that can develop and Christian McCaffrey just came off the board and OJ Howard, two guys I was thinking about looking at. So that kind of sucks. We really are focusing on defense here because these defensive players get off the board quick and we already have Aaron Rodgers and two good wide receivers so kind of okay letting that slip. I know I can get like Marshawn Lynch later, maybe a receiving back. So that all should work okay. I might wait a little bit to get Marshawn Lattimore. Just a little bit though. We'll see what other running backs are still available if I might be interested in any of them. Um, Dalvin Cook is intriguing. Joe Mixon intriguing. It's too bad that McCaffrey got taken. He would have been really good in this offense. Probably should have gone him the round before. But I did not. There's still very good running backs here. Marshawn usually stays for a while. I think we're going to hold out for Marshawn and just get a receiving back. 
find my plan. So if we are going that route, hmm. I want to wait in corner because we already got two. Just look at the line. Never find a really good. No, a left tackle will probably target with Cam Robinson or Laramie Tunsil. Because we want good, but we don't want too. Well, that's actually pretty good. 20 years old. 95 awareness. Alex Mack usually stays up here for a little bit. Zach Martin is still available. I love Zach Martin. Let's go Zach Martin, because we're going to want to run the ball, and he's going to help a lot, so Zach Martin there. Now to finish off our running run blocking, we're going to draft Lane Johnson, right tackle. And then go ahead and look at center. Alex Mack is still there, along with the other pretty good players. Left guard, I kind of like Clichy Awesome L.A. Robinson and Larry Tunsil are still both there, so we're going to go with a really good left guard, an awesome LA. And right before I wanted to pick him, the Eagles took Marshawn Lattimore, but we do have two good corners, so I feel okay about that happening. I feel like it's going to be okay. Cam Robinson's probably going to get drafted really soon, so we're going to take him quick, get him off the board. Larry Tunsil went straight after, so yeah, Cam Robinson would have been gone. And then, so we got Zach Martin, Lane Johnson, that's beast. We do not have a center yet. Alex Mack is still available. 31's on the older end, but lineman can play for a decent amount of time. Ooh, Weston Richburg is young. Pretty good. And Allie Marpet I like too, so I'd be okay with waiting, getting Allie Marpet, Corey Lindsley. Yeah, we can wait a little bit. Dante Fowler Jr. might be a guy we want to get. Taco Charlton too, oof. Let's go Dante Fowler Jr. here. Get an edge rusher. I'd really like to lock up a third wide receiver, so we're going to go John Ross, get that ridiculous speed on the team. Weapons for Aaron Rodgers. And then the next pick, we're going to go and look at... Okay, the guy I wanted is gone, Taco Charlton. So, we're going to go over here. And take Jabril Pepper so nobody else takes him. We're going to move him over to strong safety instead of free safety and have him as our return specialist. And a guy I really don't want anyone to take is Evan Ingram, but I might wait one pick and hopefully he lasts. But you heard it from me, I wanted to get him. But Ali Marpet is there. We're going to take him before anyone takes him at center because I wanted to solidify our line. And nobody took him. Well. I guess I wasn't expecting anyone to take him, but I was half expecting someone to take him. Uh, we might wait a pick. We just might wait a pick. We have for running back. We're gonna hopefully wait one more round for a tight end, and we're gonna take. Marshawn before anybody else takes him because he's 92 overall, 94 trucking. Gotta have Marshawn. So please, nobody take my guy. Nobody take my guy. I don't see it. Okay, I think he's still there. Aaron Rodgers needs a good tight end. Good, fast tight end. The reason that I like Evan Ingram is because he has 91 acceleration, 90 speed, 89 agility. He's literally like the second coming of Vernon Davis. And if he can have his career on a straight path, we can do some serious damage with him. Alright guys, I realized that I did not draft any interior linemen, so guess what? We're taking Vince Wilfork. I know he's 35. I know he's 325 pounds. I know he's got 45 finesse moves. But he's Vince Wilfork. So we're taking 
No ifs, ands, or but. Oh, dude, Amir Abdullah got taken? I was actually, like, wanting him later. There must have been a big running back run. Oh, dear. Well, we're not going to get a good second running back then. I mean, I'm sure we can still get a good one, but... Wow. I cannot believe Abdullah went. I was literally, I was seriously thinking of him for a second running back. Wow. That's alright. I've got other people I have in mind. I'm just surprised by that. Not great wide receivers left. All right, but Marlon Humphrey is still available, so we're going to go and draft him. 21 years old out of Alabama, run support, 92 speed, 93 acceleration. Good raw player. Jared Goff just got off the board. He actually would have been an okay backup quarterback. Shoot, I would have been okay with that. What other quarterbacks are available? Big old Brock Osweiler. Probably not. CJ Beathard's probably the best option for backup, or we could get someone like Colin Kaepernick. I like the idea of getting like a Colin Kaepernick or an RG3 or Paxton Lynch. I bet there's going to be a huge run of quarterbacks coming up here. Like, for real. We'll wait on the rest of our wide receivers, I think. And tight end we can wait for a while on. We have all of our linemen. We don't have a right end yet, so we can draft a right end or like a left end. For him. Oh, Randy Gregory is still available. Tack McKinley. Alright, let's go Tack McKinley out of UCLA. Take him and get him off there. I think I just saw CJ Beathard, RG3, and Kaepernick all get taken. Pretty positive. Yep, they did. Now I have nothing for back and quarterback options. Okay. Guess that's just the way the cookie crumbles. But Randy Gregory's still here and I just don't want people to take him. Six foot six, 24 years old, high upside. We'll go ahead and draft him. And then I don't know because we don't have a back and quarterback option anymore. I figured one of those guys would stay that I mentioned, but I guess not. Oh well. There's always Cardale Jones and Joe Webb. Did someone take Cardale Jones too? I think somebody drafted Cardale Jones. Wow. Beyond me, guys. No idea. Still got a lot of tight ends on the board, so we're going to be good. Let's see if we don't have drafted. 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 Drafted, 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 two drafted, one drafted. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot I got Dante Fowler. Any other, Eric Armstead's pretty good. Six foot seven, 23 years old out of Oregon. Let's take him. Get another right end on the books. And wait and wait and wait for the next pick. Probably wouldn't hurt to have some backup offensive linemen. Let's just check our wide receivers quick. Bobby Anderson out of Temple. Rashad Perriman, give us more speed. Or said, give us speed. I like Braxton Miller because <laughs> he's Braxton Miller. Still got lots of tight ends. I am going to take Jake Butt, because I can't live without Jake Butt. I cannot survive without Jake Butt. Let's see what we got for cornerback still available. Buster Scream. Quentin Rollins, Mackenzie Alexander. Tease Tabor, I'll probably want it, so we can wait a little bit. I think I forgot. 
forgot right outside linebacker. Crap. But TJ Watt's still available. I will take him. I want TJ Watt to be my starting right outside linebacker. Awesome. This next pick, we're going to go tease Tabor here out of Florida. 20 years old, so he's got a lot of room for improvement, a lot of time to grow. Love taking the 20 year old guys, just kind of like the Packers do. Hey, Ripkowski, I can take him. You gotta be kidding me. Um, the next back that we'll want is gonna be a pass catching back. We're gonna need a pass catching back, and the guy that's best for the job will be CJ Procise. He's got 77 catching, 75 route running. Good speed, good acceleration. Pretty, pretty good pick there. We'll need one more running back, but I figure I'd take Procise while he's still there. All right, it's time to start drafting some backup linemen, which is pretty important. We're going to go with Isaac Asiata. He's 24 years old out of Utah. He's got good stats, 92 strength, 77 run block, 76 pass box. Pretty good for a backup lineman if he ever has to come in the game. I'll take that every day. And then we'll go left tackle, see who's available. Eric Flowers has not done well to start his career. But he's got good strength. He's got slow XP though. Rob Johnson, normal XP. Has not started his career yet. 21 years old on Florida State. Let's go Rob Johnson for the left tackle backup. We need guys in case their line gets hurt. Hopefully young guys who can grow and get better. Center. Pat Elfline. Wow. That was lucky. I'll take him. <laughs> Thank you. Pat um, Tobin out of Iowa. He's 27. Huh. Sebastian Vollmer. I always get Sebastian Vollmer. Corey Fleming. Jordan Mills. Mike Lower. Mm. Bobby Hart has also had a pretty bad start to his career. We'll go Ray Ray Armstrong for a backup linebacker as long as he's there. For right guard, the best young player we can get is Jeremiah Putasi, 23 year old out of Utah, getting more guys out of Utah. He's got pretty good run block, not very good pass blocker and pack blocking, but he's got decent strength and he's young. 330 pounds, so we'll take him. <laughs> we need another D tackle, so we'll be going Adolphus Washington out of Ohio State. And we'll see who's next for us. We're taking more running backs. Maybe we need another tackle. Isaac Rochelle out of Notre Dame, 22 years old. He has got good stats, strength, block shedding, power moves, tackle. Player recognition is not great, but we can work on that. Go ahead and take him. The Quan Treadwell got taken. Oof. Must be getting down there, wide receivers. They must be getting down there. Cooper Cup still available. Braxton Miller. Who I don't have? Oh, I only have three. Okay. Guess it's time to take another wide receiver. Go oh, Cooper Cup. He's actually got really good stats in this game. It's not bad. Not a bad wide receiver option. Probably go another wide receiver here. Kenny Galladay got taken. Come on, man. I want me some Kenny Galladay. Hmm. Okay, and Braxton Miller got taken. I see how it is. 
Not cool. Not cool. Philip Dorset does have 96 speed. Not very good route running, but I'll take the 96 speed. He can go along with John Ross pretty well. <sighs> Just wish. We've gotten one of our other wide receivers that we wanted. Let's give Kevin White another shot at his career. That feels good. Feels good to do stuff like that. Give guys more chances. What do we have for backup quarterback options? Still got Chad Henney, Ryan Fitzpatrick, we want him. I feel like those will stay on there for a while. Take a peek at running back. Let's make sure there's nobody we don't want to get taken. Jeremy Nichols is an option. I like Wendell Smallwood as well. I don't know. I might just revisit it since there's still quite a few people available for that. Take Vince Beagle in Wisconsin on the Packers now as a backup left outside linebacker. Just to get that there. And I think we'll just take McNichols as a project back to be a third third string running back behind Procise and Lynch. Sounds good. Ooh, people took tight ends. Oh, one more tight end. I call it quits. I want Levine Toilolo. Six foot eight, 84 acceleration, 76 speed. I will take him, 26 years old. I'll take Toilolo. For backup right tackle, we're going Hal Vitae. Six foot six out of TCU, 320 pounds. Just to get a backup right tackle. It's pretty safe to say that we'll be drafting a successor to Aaron Rodgers because we will be drafting Cardale Jones. That's. Pretty much all that has to be said about that. Um, and as like a second, second slash third string option will also go down. And grab Joe Webb, the mobile quarterback that also plays special teams really fast. Just for the heck of it, we'll be drafting six foot six wide receiver Tanner McAvoy out of Wisconsin, 24 years old. Rogers is gonna like throwing it down the field to that guy. For another cornerback option, we're going Jalen Myrick out of Minnesota, 96 speed. Um, he's got to work on his coverage a little bit, but he's got good acceleration um, and decent man. But he's going to have to work on a few other things, but he is like a fifth or a sixth cornerback, so really it's going to be okay. And then for depth, we will draft Antonio Camardi, 33-year-old out of Florida State. For a backup middle linebacker out of Wisconsin, of course, we're taking Joe Schobert. For fullback, we'll be taking Derek Coleman, 77 overall. Pretty pretty good player overall. Um, just get him on the team. Your fullback's a C+. I think I got enough guys. Yeah, I got enough wide receivers for sure. And enough tight ends. Got enough offensive linemen, it looks like. Yes, I do. Two left ends, two right ends, three D tackles, two left outside linebackers, two middle linebackers. I've got enough of everything, except free safeties. I also need a kicker. Let's take the man, Sebastian Janikowski, for our kicker. 39 years old. Former high draft pick, second, second round, I think. Janikowski, first round. First round, Janikowski's first round. Um, Aguayo, who's a, I was thinking of, is a second round pick. Right. We don't have any free safeties, but we are converting Jabril Peppers to a free safety. 
which his overall does not suffer from it, so I feel okay with the move, but we will oops, still draft a free safety, and it's going to be Eric Murray out of Minnesota. Or Northern, guys. A punter, draft back Brad Norman out of Wisconsin. Or Northern, guys. Free safety, we will take Kentrell Bryce. Getting down to the end of it, we're already on pick 53. Technically, rosters are only 53 men rosters. Probably look for another safety if one sticks out. Jerome Curse, plays for Minnesota from Clemson. We'll take him. How many more picks do we got here? Probably just a couple more. So let's just sort by, oops, age. Make sure there's nobody I recognize or really want. Ooh, Kenyon Drake. Let's actually sort by speed. So the fastest guy now is a halfback Keith Marshall. Brendan Langley, 91 speed quarterback. Wow. Really picked the quarterback position dry. Really, really did. Man, I don't know. Maybe another running back? See if we can find another running back to compete. Um, yeah, let's go Reggie Bush. 32-year-old out of USC. Let's get him on the roster. That is it. I'm going to go ahead and make those quick roster adjustments and we're going to look at the depth chart. Alright guys, the draft ended up turning out pretty well for us. Our first overall pick, Aaron Rodgers, 99 overall. He's going to be like the best quarterback in the league this year and we got him at the fifth pick, so awesome. At halfback, Marshawn Lynch, beast mode, got him pretty late in the draft. CJ Pro decides to be a pass catcher out of the backfield. Jeremy McNichols is a project and Reggie Bush just for the hell of it. Fullback, Derek Coleman, um, because... Oh, dude, Toy Lolo at, oh, man, six foot eight. Fullback would be sweet. We might have to do that just for fun sometime. Wide receiver, Des Bryant, Keenan Allen. So we got two studs at the wide receiver position, followed by John Ross at 98 speed, 96 acceleration, 93 agility. He's going to be an awesome slot receiver. Cooper Cup got pretty good stats for a rookie, 72 overall, Phil Dorsett. 96 speed Kevin White give him a shot in his career again. We got Tanner McAvoy if we need him Go to the tight end position. We got Evan Ingram with 90 speed 91 acceleration 89 agility whole oh. We're out running 73. He's a wide receiver playing tight end. He's probably got terrible blocking His run blocking is 61. We'll work on that But what a beast of a tight end. Wow Jake butt because butt Toy Lolo because he's six foot eight. Maybe we'll have him play a little bit of fullback. Dude, that'd be sweet. I gotta. I might have to have Toy Lolo convert and be a fullback because that's just sweet. Imagine passing out of the backfield with a six foot eight fullback. Cam Robinson left tackle. Rod Johnson backing him up. Left guard. Kalichi Osmele backed up by Isaac Asiata. So 92 overall left guard. At center, Ali Marpet 85 overall. Um, two years in the bigs, two years in the bigs. Pat Elfline, Elfline out of Ohio State rookie. Backing him up, right guard, we got Zach Martin, 97 overall, the best right guard in the game. Only three years of experience out of Notre Dame. Backed up by Jeremiah Pudassi. Right tackle, Blaine Johnson, great run blocker. We're gonna run the heck out of the ball. Left end, Dante Fowler Jr., backed up by Eric Armstead. Right end, looks like they want Tack McKinley to start over Andy Gregory, I'm fine with that. Defense have tackled the big man, Vince Wilfork, followed by Adolphus Washington and Isaac Rochelle. 
left outside linebacker Anthony Barr. We took him pretty early, but he gets drafted pretty early. I think he's got a real good chance to develop into a really good left outside linebacker. If you miss on all the top tier guys, he's a really good choice. Vince Beagle dropped, uh, backing him up. Middle linebacker, one of the better ones, Ryan Shazier, backed up by Joe Schobert and TJ Watt. We might just, oh no, TJ Watt's going to start for us. I forgot about that. So, we are going to have Joe Schobert be the backup and Vince Beagle after that. Right outside linebacker, I'd like TJ Watt to start. Ray Ray Armstrong can back him up, obviously. The quarterback position, we got Ronald Darby, the guy that was involved in one of these trades, I think, traded to the Eagles for Jordan Matthews, or traded to the Rams for Watkins, one of those two. I don't remember which one it is, but he just got traded. He's had a really good preseason so far, and he's pretty damn good. 81 overall. Gary on Conley, the rookie at Ohio State and Marlon Humphrey, the rookie out of Alabama. So we got a lot of growing room, and these rookies usually explode in Madden. I love loading them up. It's not the best team right now, but I guarantee you guys, two seasons, this is going to be a beast team. Antonio Camardi and Tease Tabor. We're actually going to put Tease ahead of him because he's 20 years old and he can get a lot better. Free safety, obviously, Jab Jabril Peppers is starting, followed by Kentrell Bryce. So drawing safety, Jamal Adams is going to anchor our defense most of the year. Ooh, Marlon Humphrey can make it pretty good. Pretty good strong safety, looks like. But Jaron Curse will be backing up that position. Kicker, we got Dan Akowski, a 39 year old punter, Brad Nortman. Go to the kick returner position. They want John Ross to do it, but we want Peppers. So we're going to move Peppers all the way up the chain. John Ross, you can do it sometimes because you're, you're fast. I get it. You're super fast. Third down running back right now is Procise. As a pass catcher and Reggie Bush backing him up as third down running back. And that's it for the team, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this. I'm going to start the relocation stuff and I'll post that as well. But if you guys want to see me actually like play with this team or actually play the whole year or get to Super Bowl, whatever you want, leave in the comments below whatever you want me to do. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. I had a huge frame rate, frame rate drop there, so I was running to the outside. I probably shouldn't have done that, but it still got six yards. I was trying to kind of follow my blocker, and he was just going a little slower. So I was trying to get to the outside and find a cutback.